Hi everyone, my name is Leon and welcome to how to install Plutonium T4 directly from Plutonium. I'm glad you're with me. If you did find this helpful, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you want more tutorials or Call of Duty content. Hey, and I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing that we're going to need is a piece of torrenting software. Now, is torrenting necessarily bad or is it illegal? Um, not necessarily. Torrenting has been around for a very long time. And if you want to know the technicalities of torrenting, it's basically just peer-to-peer file transferring and that's all it really is you're grabbing bits and pieces of information from all over the world from different hosts from other people so if you wanted to hide your network traffic i extremely advise using a vpn this can be any vpn solution of your choosing also it may help that if your isp blocks torrents or if you're trying to download it like on a school network or something like that they may block p2p so if you want to try to get around that, you definitely could use a VPN solution. Today we're going to be using QBitTorrent. It's probably the best one out there. It doesn't really have any ads and the technology behind it is pretty modern when it comes to torrenting software. So we're going to go ahead and click on that right now on this link right here. And first of all, all of the links are going to be in the description below, of course, and uh, you can follow along as we uh, go along here. So um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get the Q BitTorrent Windows X64, and uh, we'll go ahead and download that right now. We'll go ahead and start the installer. So we're just going to click OK. And luckily, there's not like any like programs that try to install with this. So we can just click Next. I accept the terms. Next and install pretty simple as that so we're just gonna hit finish and i agree and this is qubit torrent pretty pretty easy here so we're gonna go back we're gonna click the back button here uh we're gonna go back and we're actually going to download the torrent that we need now this has all of the files that we're gonna need to play plutonium t4 or wooled at war so let's go ahead and click on the next step which is download the torrent file so we're gonna go ahead and click on that it's gonna download the torrent file. When you click on it, by default, it should open up in Qubit Torrent. If it does not, you may need to select uh, Open With and uh, Qubit Torrent, but usually by default, uh, Qubit Torrent should take over as the primary program. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on OK. And this is going to start uh, beginning. It's gonna take a minute, and there we go. So it's gonna start downloading again. These are from peers from all over the world. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that for now. We're gonna go ahead and let this download, and then we're gonna come back. All right, and we're back. So if we go ahead and open up our Windows File Explorer here, if we go to the Downloads tab, we should now see Pluto T4 underscore full game, you know, this basically this folder. We're gonna go ahead and go in it. Now, this folder may look a little different than yours because I'm kind of piecemealing it together. I didn't want to download the full torrent, so that's kind of like why I skipped ahead in the video. But this is gonna look very, very similar to your folder. So what I would advise to do is maybe go to your C drive and maybe make a games folder. Now, like I said, this can be any folder anywhere on your computer, but the guide recommends that you create a folder called games. I'm gonna create a new folder inside of games called T4, just so that way we can give some you know file structure to this. I'm gonna go to downloads. I'm gonna go in this folder here I'm gonna take everything from it. I'm gonna do cut, go back to my C drive, games, T4, and I'm gonna paste it in here. And boom, it's as simple as that. The next thing that we need to do is launch the plutonium launcher that comes inside the torrent. So let's go ahead and launch that now. Alrighty, and you'll notice this pop-up that comes up. This is going to download the rest of the core files that Plutonium needs in order to launch the game. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this. All right, now we're done. We have the launcher pulled up here, and I want to go over one thing before we move further with this. Um, Plutonium itself uh, is a completely custom-made software, correct? So... What that necessarily means is that they don't have the necessary funding to create what's called, uh, I, th I believe it's called a self-signed certificate. I may be wrong on that. However, essentially what I'm about to get into is that Plutonium is a custom piece of software. And custom pieces of software, usually with antivirus programs, 
don't go over very well. And that means that antivirus programs can create false positives. So if you have an antivirus software on your computer, I'm not gonna show you the particular steps on how to do it with your software. However, I will show you the steps on how to do it with Windows Defender. Now, in most cases, this shouldn't change. However, if it does, I advise you to go look up how to do this in the future if Windows decides to change their interface. However, let's go ahead and go over it right now because it is crucial and it may determine whether Windows Defender is going to try to delete the entire game and the entire files. I don't want that to happen to you, so we're gonna go ahead and go into these next steps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to the search bar or you can just click on the start button, either way. There is a gear cog that's called settings, or you can search it as you, just like so, you can search settings. Um, what you're gonna do is you can just search Defender. So you're gonna see Windows security settings here, or Defend. And go to Virus and Threat Protection. Go down to Virus and Threat Protection settings, so go to Manage Settings here. Roll down until you see Exclusions. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit add, and we're gonna add an exclusion. You're gonna do folder. You're gonna go down to wherever you put your game. It doesn't have to be your C drive. It can be on a different hard drive. So if you have multiple hard drives, then wherever you basically put your folder. I would not suggest putting it exactly on games, but I would put it on the T4, uh, T4 game files here itself. So basically we're gonna hit select folder, and we'll just wait for it to kind of update here. At least it should. Actually, it may not because I'm in a Windows sandbox environment. So basically, it may ask for some credentials or it may say yes or no because it has to run in full administrator mode in order to do that. So just click yes or put in the credentials that you have to allow programs to do certain things. Also, what I would do is go to folder again. And this is also very important. I would go percent sign local app data percent sign all right and we're going to go to plutonium and we're just going to select this entire folder and then hit select folder again again mine's not going to work here because i'm in a windows sandbox mode it just it doesn't have those kind of administrative privileges to do certain things like that um, however just click yes or no or enter your credentials to get that completed all right, let's move on to the next part of the guide, and that is actually signing in. If you already have a Plutonium account, great, awesome. But if you're just now coming into this, it's really simple. Go back to the guide here and go to forum.plutonium.pw forward slash register. We're going to go ahead and click on this page, and this gives us a nice little registration page. Again, put a good email address, a good username, and... For the love of God, please put a good password. I always tell people every single guide, don't use the same password that you use on other things and also just make it a little complex. They also offer two-factor authentication. I never mentioned that in my previous videos, but two-factor authentication is pretty cool. You can use Google Auth or you can use Microsoft Authenticator. Either way, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go back to the launcher here and I'm gonna sign in and then we'll, we'll move forward in the tutorial. Alrighty, and now that we're in the launcher, you can see that we have multiple game choices. I've actually shown people on how to actually download IW5, which is Modern Warfare 3. You can go back and watch that tutorial if you want to, but today we're going to be focused on World at War and World at War Zombies. So, pretty simple. All we're going to do is select T4 Multiplayer. Click on Setup. And we're just going to point it to our game folder path. So again, we're going to click on C games and we're just going to select t4 bada bing bada boom all that had to do next is just click the play button um as well as world at war t4 zombies um well it actually already did it for us so uh we don't have to adjust anything it knows where to go um but you could also select of course you know black ops 2 if you have a copy of that or uh modern warfare 3 as i've shown in my previous videos so i'm really happy that you guys have been with me here to do this tutorial um if you did like i said go to enjoy to like it press that like button for me it does help out subscribe for more tutorials i'll have some more coming out here soon i've got a lot of updates coming up as well on the channel so really appreciate it everybody thank you have a good one Bye bye